Frontiers was started uh, by Serafino Perugino in 1996, exactly at the end of February 1996. Uh, a few times also during the history of the label, uh, coming from a sleepless night, he really uh, gave uh, uh, a little bit of an exposure uh, to the music that, that he loved, basically, which uh, uh, which was and still is, you know, uh, AOR and melodic rock music. He had a, a history also as a journalist and also wrote for a fanzine, you know, before starting uh, uh, dealing uh, with uh, and distribution of uh, records in Italy. And in 1996, uh, he had the possibility to uh, import and distribute uh, CDs from a label called West Coast Records, a Swedish label uh, specialized in melodic rock, AOR and West Coast music. And uh, the very first albums that he imported and sold were albums from Mark Spiro, Tim Fien, and uh, in a, it was a very small room actually in his parents' house uh, to uh, you know to start taking contact with the most important uh, uh, record shops in Italy. And uh, after having bought those CDs from Sweden, he started you know to sell them uh, in in the whole country. So that's how he started. Uh, the Frontiers Distribution in 1996. Uh, you know, after he succeeded basically in creating those commercial ties with the most important shops, he managed uh, to uh, sign distribution deals with other labels, uh, in particular uh, two that were very important, you know, for the growth of his business. Uh, one was Escape Music and the other one was MTM Music. The name Frontiers uh, comes uh, from uh, the Journey album Frontiers, uh, which uh, is one of uh, Serafino's personal favorite albums ever. In general, I want to mention that Serafino's biggest influence in, uh, in music, uh, you know, his favorite artist is, uh, is Journey, and uh, especially, uh, you know, the classic singer of Journey, Steve Perry, is, uh, is his favorite singer ever. It was probably a very easy decision for him to go and, and you know, come up with a name that was referring to Journey, because basically, uh, you know, that's, that's the music that he wanted to be involved with, you know, the, the style of music that he, that he really wanted to be involved with. From one label, he managed, you know, to, in a few months, really, to sign for the Italian distribution pretty much all the available melodic rock and AOR independent labels in Europe. And uh, when he basically managed to have a fairly solid uh, infrastructure for his business, uh, he already wanted to look forward and uh, thought that basically Italy was too limited for the business and for the, you know, the possibilities that the business itself could give. So the consequence was that he saw the opportunity of, uh, of building up a real label. He told me about it a few months before that the whole thing really started and uh, together you know, we were in the position to build you know, the very first signings and the, 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 the initial infrastructure of the label that included, you know, the first distribution deals outside Italy and, and, and so on. I met Serafino um, because we are from the same city, we are from Napoli, both from Napoli. We didn't really know each other until uh, I became a writer, a journalist, uh, in a magazine called Metal Shock. Metal Shock in the mid-90s uh, uh, was one of the uh, metal magazines in Italy and was probably the, the oldest one because uh, there were a few others but the, it was quite established at the time. Through another friend of mine I started writing reviews and interviews uh, on, the, on the magazine and uh, back in 1995 actually I was one of the first ones that started using email and internet here, uh, in, here in Napoli and I had an account that gave me the possibility uh, to have direct contact with some artists, some uh, uh, you know websites that put to my attention some releases which were not available on the market, which was possible basically to contact directly artists, and it was very all very very new at the time, and that created in a way 
a sort of a relationship between myself and a handful of, of artists which were really, uh, really good. Uh, I, I will just mention a couple that I had, you know, later on the pleasure to work with. One was uh, Eric Norlander, uh, uh, which I contacted uh, for, for the Lana Lane albums, and the other one was uh, Mark Mangold, which uh, uh, later on I would uh, put Serafina in touch with uh, and uh, actually was was the first signing of the label uh, if we don't consider you know the now and then uh, uh, deal.